Hey guys, today we're going to review this UI UX case study by Khaled Hosen. I'll leave the link in the description and you let me know in the in the comments what you actually think. I'd quite like to get everyone else's point of view. So this is for a, 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 an application, an iPhone application called Travelend. And it's about, so it says here, enhance your travel experience with Travelend. And they've used Figma uh, and some Google Sheets and Google Docs. So let's have a look. So it starts off quite nicely. We've got a mock-up at the top here on the right. I always like to see a mock-up at the very beginning of these case studies because at least then you know what you're going to get as you go along. So I'm going to review this as I would do if I was a hiring manager. So when I'm going through this, I can see I'll probably have a quick little look at the project overview. So I'll see uh, it's a platform design. Travelers with a seamless and hassle-free experience when it comes to customizing uh, travel packages. So here we've got a problem statement and a problem solution. So you can see, actually, as I'm going through this, I'm not actually reading that much. So try and keep the text as short as possible. This is probably, a, it's a good overview, but remember that people are going to look at this quite quickly. So as I'm going down here, I can see target audience, nice, uh, nice illustrations here. So who's the audience here? Millennial travelers, solo travelers. So we've got... Um, target audience that might be where personas come in i don't know if, whether he's got any a few later we'll have a look then we've got an approach so the approach is to target these four four audiences and highlight specific features and benefits so that's fine so this is quite good here it says his role so at least we know what he's doing in the process this could i kind of like the way he's done this is like an infographic you could just write this as text um maybe these could be different colors maybe to show the different steps in the user-centered design process but i, I like the way he's done it here so as we go down here, we've got design thinking process. I, I always kind of do include this uh, in, in my case studies. It just shows you uh, how, how you then, you know, it shows you understand that you could be creating something from the beginning to the end. And uh, you see all these uh, things here, like design strategy, wireframes. They all essentially live within some steps on these process. So you could combine the two there together if you wanted. So project timeline, so you see this here, this shows that it's a waterfall project. So we do this, then we do this, then we do this, then we do this, 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 this. Uh, uh, when you work within uh, companies, you, you do something called agile, which is slightly different from this, uh, but it's always good to show the project timelines in here. So now we're going down, we've got the empathize stage. So here's his research. So he here's his interview questions. So, uh, some key insights here so for me i'd probably just uh it, it's quite a lot of text for me to be honest to read i you, you could design this in ways that it's slightly easier to read i, I like the way he's um i got the questions and got the empire sage here within this it's good to pull the key out since insights but you can to, to take this to another level you could design this so it's a little bit easier to read full lines of text to going across the screen are quite difficult really as a hiring manager i'm not gonna uh, well, me personally, I'm not going to look into this too much, but I like the way he's got it in there. So I've got qualitative research. See, this is a bet. This is a better way for me to understand the answers as I'm skinning through it. I love the way he's got the graphs, got the percentages, got the answers there. So I've got the key, so I know that's a yes and no. This could be green and red. Uh, the light blue and dark blue is fine as long as you've got the key. So this is going through the research phase. Um, key insights always good to pull it out then we go to the fine fades so here we go we've got uh, our personas coming in here you know you don't need to do that much it's always good to show that you've uh, you understand how to do all this work um that's good so now so basically he's going through every step in the user center design process in reality you don't always do this in companies but i think if, you, if you're looking to get a junior designer or midweight designer role it's good to show that you actually go through all of these steps this is this is telling a story by taking the hiring manager through the design process task blows here so he's, he's actually done some card sorting which is good he, this is actually a very very good case study so this is similar to what i teach or kind of exactly what i teach in, in my course so we go through and we actually create each one of these tasks so uh I love the way he structured this. So he's shown me that he knows what he's talking about when it comes to the use of the design process. So his wireframes, you know, he's just showing it as a graphic. That's fine for me. I don't need to see much more than that. Then we've got visual design. So it's actually quite a nice looking app, to be honest. The colors are nice. It's simple. Um, 
Yeah. It kind of it was quite a lot there. Oh, I love the way he's got. Has he got a prototype in here? Um, not from what I can see in here, but I imagine there might be a link, or you could put a video in there, and then it's got thanks for scrolling at the bottom. So, um, what I would say is there's ways to uh, build onto this. So remember, when you're doing a case study and you do the visual design, um, there's a key section missing here, and I'll show you how we could improve it. So if you go back to the top and you see this, um. So he's effectively stopped here, this design process, so stopped the prototype. So really, to, to build this case study out a little bit more, uh, you would want to do usability testing. And that is where you get a friend or family and you take them through the app and then you find out uh, if it's usable or not. You could do some behind the scenes photography and then you effectively show within your case study where you've improved the design. And that shows that you understand that, you know, the design is just a version one and it will go through iterative versions of improvement so you do want to show that sometimes in your case studies i think it's really nice to show not the finished article and show how you progressed um kind of along it so his, his prototype stops here you can see this usability phase would have been really good even if it's just your friends and family i think that's kind uh, kind of fine to have in there also, I love seeing behind the scenes interviews. I'd love to see him walking through the application. I'd love to see an actual video of the application being used because you can see I've only spent 10 minutes on this. Uh, I kind of get a rough idea in my head of what it's like, but I'm not going into detail because you literally don't have enough time to go through 10 of these and spend an hour reading each one. So minimize the copy, put more multimedia in here. I think this is a very, very, very good case study. It could be expanded by adding some uh, improvements on it, uh, some behind the scenes photography, uh, interacting with users. But this is a this is what you're aiming for, and then to go above and beyond. I think he's done really well.